The Center for Digital Government is highlighting 54 cities rethinking digital services through AI and more. Here are the five big stories we're covering in government technology this week. First up, the Center for Digital Government has released its 2025 Digital City Survey results, highlighting 54 cities leading the way in AI and digital innovation. This year's first place winners span Florida, Indiana, Arizona, and California, with San Jose and Long Beach topping their population categories. California's success specifically reflects strong statewide support, something CTO Jonathan Peratt has previously emphasized. We have a really strong partnership with both the other state departments as well as the vendor community to make sure that we're responsibly and ethically implementing AI across the state. View the other cities that have experienced tech transformations this year in our top story. Also, FEMA is directing $625 million to strengthen public safety technology ahead of the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The funding supports cybersecurity, infrastructure protection, training and background checks across the 11 U.S. host cities preparing for millions of visitors. And in education, are state AI policies for K-12 too narrow? Some experts say state AI guidance for K-12 may be too limited, focusing mostly on privacy, plagiarism, and data use. Districts may need broader direction that covers classroom impact and future workforce preparation as AI tools expand. Meanwhile, the Pillar Act passed in the U.S. House to extend the state and local cybersecurity grant program through 2033. State CIOs like Utah's Alan Fuller have been pushing the importance of the funding since earlier this year. Recent years have seen a surge in complex ransomware attacks, data breaches, and phishing campaigns specifically designed to exploit government systems. This evolution reflects a broader trend where malicious actors increasingly target public sector entities seeking to disrupt services, extort funds, and to compromise sensitive data. Local governments in particular face challenges in keeping pace with these threats due to budget constraints and limited cybersecurity expertise, making them more susceptible to these evolving cyber risks. The reauthorization gives governments long-term structure for cyber planning, though exact budgets will be set later. Lastly, a Cloudflare service degradation disrupted digital services for states, counties, and local governments, including court payments, transit tools, and human services portals. Well, that wraps our top stories for this week, but the stories of public sector innovation continue at govtech.com.